Hello, it's Marco here from Markham3D.com and I'm just going to review CG Geek's Nature Asset Pack and also his Tree Pack just briefly. Now I picked this up pretty cheap for $10 on the Blender Market, both of them. And let's just quickly do, let's just quickly see what we can come up with really quick. I'm just going to go Shift A, add a plane, make it bigger, W to subdivide, and then number of cuts over here on the left, just increase that. Press O to turn on proportional editing, and G, let's scale that up. I kind of want, kind of want a bit of a, bit of a hilly type thing here. Let's go, bring it down, rotate on the X, let's bring it over here. Rotate on the Z, zero numpad, and let's come down. Let's see if we can get rid of those hard edges. So probably about here. All right, let's go about importing these ta um, assets. So file, I'm going to select, let's start off with the nature assets pack. Select blend file into groups. I'm going to import everything first up. So on this mesh, let's go particle system, new. I'm going to change type to hair, number, change that to hairs. Thousand is good enough. I want to render the emitter. I want to render the group, which will be realistic nature pack. I want rotation as well, random one. So we've got random scale, random rotation. And let's just increase the size a bit. Now, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is quickly just make a material for that plane because I do still want the ground. I'm going to do new and I'm going to use Wolf 3D or 3D Wolf's PBR textures. Come down here, let's select dirt. Come over into composition. Use the, let's just put this as dirt. Here we are. I'm just going to move this over to the side. Shift D to duplicate that color. Let's make a bit of a darker color. And if we come over here, PBR text node, I want a bit of a dirt texture. Shift A again, mix shader. Let's plug that one in there. Let's plug that one in there. Let's plug that one in there. And if we come over into the materials, let's go preview and let's just increase the size so we can see what we're dealing with. What does this material look like? Let's change these two around. Awesome, nothing really. Let's go density, 0.75 scale, let's go three. Beautiful, that's a little bit better. Location, whatever, scale, Z, let's go three as well. Hopefully that brings it up here. Whatevs, good enough. So let's go back into default. And just with this now, I'm just gonna press F12 and let that render out. Now without even doing much, we can see it's not too bad. So let's go back into world settings, use nodes. Let's turn this into a sky blue, actually. I believe we can go background. Let's go into composition. And let's go into world tab. Sky, sky texture, color. All right, let's just bring that that way. And let's have a look. So if I go into quickly, let's just bring this back over to the side. Let's bring that back over to the side. Let's quickly just go into rendered view. Do we have, beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. Let's go into default now. Now I want to increase probably the grass count. So I'm going to go file, append. I want grass. And let's click on the dirt layer again. Uh, let's add in another particle system. Let's maybe bump that up to now to 5,000. We will change this to hair once again. Group, change it to grass. Beautiful rotation. Let's just scale that up a little bit. Random. All right, let's bring that up. F12, let's just have a quick look what that looks like now. So I've just stopped the render there. Um, I want more density and I'm probably just going to make everything a little bit smaller because I think the grass is a bit too big. Let's bump it up to 50,000. And let's go back into here. I am going to make the scale a little bit smaller. Um, maybe let's go 0.1. All right, F12, let's see what happens. All right, so looking at this, 
oh yeah, this is pretty good. However, I think I think we need trees. Let's put some trees in. So if we go file, append. So let's go over to the realistic tree pack. Go through, go into group, and we want no rigs. Damn, for some reason, this thing came through. Don't know why that's been a bit of a hissy fit. Let's get rid of them. Delete. 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 Come on, go away. Delete. Now, I don't want this one. I don't want this one. That's the ash one don't want the pine I do however want this one so let's just move it X G Y a little bit too far let's maybe bring that down and bring it over here a little bit G mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. Rotate X. I just want more of that tree in there. And so, we now have our sky, our grassland. I should probably cut all this out. That's not in frame, but that's fine. Let's work with the tree now, and let's just press F12 and see what happens. So this is what we've come up with. So there's two things there. One, the tree is just a little bit too high, so let's just move it down a little bit about there that should be fine now and yep I think that's fine so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead over to the composition and we will change the color of the trees uh, color of the leaves and we'll just bring down that uh, fall leaf color um, the reason why it's brown I think is because of those spheres that I deleted at the start I completely forgot about them I think they control which part of the trees are brown and green all right, cool. So we've got all three of them done and we'll press render. And eh, once again, let's just see what happens. So the only thing I did was change the transparency here from eight to 64 because we had the transparency issues with grass. But other than that, amazing. And I don't know how long that took, five, 10 minutes, not even. Pfft, brilliant. Now let's see if we actually go in deeper into these trees. So I'm just going to clear this up a little bit so we can actually have a look at the trees. These trees are amazing. So if we come over here into layout one, we've got these wonderful little balls. We've got these wonderful little balls. We've got these wonderful little balls. Why are you being a jerk? Pose mode. There we go. These, he's unbelievable, Steve. He's rigged these branches so they can actually sway in the um, inner wind. So we can actually animate this. So let's go I uh, location. Let's jump 100 frames. Let's move just over here. I location. Let's bring it up to another 180. I location. And let's grab that first keyframe and paste it there. And if we kind of tree has a little bit of a sway, oh my goodness, ingenious. So this is a wonderful add-on, even though it's three years old and hopefully we're working fine with 2.8. Um, still very highly recommended if you need to have quickly grass assets and trees assets. Oh, Thank you very much, CG Geek. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, if you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe. Um, let me know what other product you would like me to review.